Hello, love you so in people and welcome to my channel. It's Hila here, Saturday Night City. And thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you're having a fantastic day wherever you are. Uh, today's post is a fabric haul to share some of my sewing plans, some for the Minerva Brand Ambassador Program, and some of my own personal uh, sewing plans and some fabric hauls that I have. So let's dive straight into it. So first it. off, I feel like this deserves special mention because I very rarely buy big four sewing pattern. And even more rarely do I get quick sew sewing patterns. However, however, I feel safe in sharing this because uh, my father-in-law doesn't actually watch my channel at all. But um, we're going to be able to see my father-in-law for the first time in 18 months because he lives over in the United States. And he's coming over to celebrate a big milestone birthday with us. And he has to go through all of the quarantine processes, and etc. And we're really, really excited about that. And it occurred to me that I have never once <laughs> made him anything. And that's mostly because I'm quite scared of making people things because I always feel like, oh my gosh, what if they don't like it? And they feel they can't tell me that they don't like it because I put so much time and effort into it you know all of that sort of thing so I think after I did that once or twice I basically decided that I won't make things for people especially unsolicited things but I really feel like I want to make this for my father-in-law um because he's just awesome and he's amazing and I really want to make this milestone birthday special so I got a men's camp shirt um which i hope he's going to like and he plays the guitar so i'm getting i'm waiting on this uh guitars quilted fabric to come through because i had to spend ages looking for some guitars fabric and so the idea is that i'm going to make uh, this particular view here but this panel instead of it being red is going to have the guitars fabric and then the rest of it is going to be like a cream white so i've been working in consultation with my husband and he's been telling me which colors he thinks um my father-in-law will wear so it's quite exciting so i got this um delivery was super quick as always when you get it uh, from minerva and then the other thing that just fell it fell into my shopping basket <laughs> is this gorgeous organza fabric now i got the lilac this is available in cream as well and my thought processes with this type of fabric was that it would be great as a contrast for sleeves or if I wanted to do like just a contrasting panel somewhere. I just thought that this is gorgeous. So I got three meters of this because I just know it's the sort of thing that I can just pick and use in uh, projects. And it's a lilac, but it's got some pink undertones, which is why I really, really um, like it. So look at that. So it's sheer and then you've got the embroidered leaves and, you know, so I got this and uh, this arrived at the same time as the quick sew. This has got a selvage that's also quite usable. So I think that could do something wherein this selvage, I don't know, it could be used like so. It's a really beautiful fabric. So the other thing that I got was from So Is Faction. So I'm signed up to the newsletter and occasionally pops up with some uh, sewing picks and pattern picks. And the moment I saw this fabric, I was just like, oh, need to have that. And it's this blue viscous jersey and it's got these blodges. And I like these blodges because they're not quite like a polka dot. I'm still scared of some polka dots because um, I just have a childhood memory of somebody laughing at me wearing like a really um to my mind at the time I loved that dress it was a polka dot dress it was like a giant black and white polka dot dress and I think somebody laughed at me who was like one of the popular kids or something like that and I just sort of always told myself that polka dots are a big no-no and I still need to work through that but this I love it because these are not quite a circular they're not quite polka dots but what's also quite outstanding is see if i can show you the detail here get the camera to focus is that the dots themselves they've got a border a very so it's like you've got the light blue splodge here and then it's almost like somebody took a ballpoint pen and then sort of highlighted the edges and then you've got the medium blue there so you've got the three tones of blue the light in there the medium and the dark around the light it's a very subtle effect 
but I like it. And it's a viscose jersey. Um, so I ordered it straight away the moment that I saw that they had it. So it's nice, lightweight and drapey. Haven't quite yet decided what I will make with this, but I do know that it's going to be something that is long sleeve. So we've reached the end of May now and it's going into the beginning of June and the weather hasn't been playing ball. So I've had to change my sewing plans um, more towards <laughs> viscosy jersey makes rather than the cotton lawns, the flowy backless strappy sundresses that I've been traditionally enjoying making around this time. But that's okay. The beauty of actually sewing my own clothes is that I can adapt as and when I want to adapt to it. I'm not beholden to the trends that are already in the shops, if you follow what I mean. So yeah, quite excited to see what I will make with this. It's got a really beautiful gorgeous drape and this also comes in the red but unusually i thought that the red was a bit too oh look i'm actually blue 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 stripe <laughs> i see a trend so this is the one and as always with the satisfaction packages is really quite nice they arrive in this really beautiful pink little thing and it's like oh i get a pop of pink through the mailbox it makes me a happy bunny yeah and we have, so now this is a brand ambassador make. This is a Minerva brand ambassador make. And it is a French terry, which is one of my favorite uh, stretch fabrics to sew with because not only uh, does it sew up beautifully, but the colors tend to be vibrant and they tend to maintain their vibrancy and the fabric tends to maintain its recoverability. So it doesn't have as much stretch as a jersey, um, but it does have enough for you to have a very comfortable feel if you want to. But it's got such gorgeous colors. And more importantly, it is a little bit on the warmer side, which is perfect for the unpredictable weather that we're having. But this is a Sharks fabric. And this is the second Sharks sweater jersey fabrics that I, I, you know, I've kind of fallen for. And for this, it's going to be for my husband. We're going to make him a lovely jumper because he's been making a lot of noises going, oh, <coughs> and all that for me to make something for him. Because he now works, at, uh, he works from home uh, ever since eight months before the lockdown began. And he doesn't have as much of a need for shirts or smart wear as before. And I've made him work trousers and work shirts before and T-shirts. So... Anyway, I listened, he coughed and coughed and nudged and nudged and, you know, did a chorus jazz hands thing to get my attention about sewing him something. And I listened, so we're going to be making a McCall's jumper that I've made five times before already. So it's a banging pattern. Um, so that's the plan to make it with this. So it's a French Terry. It's got the sharks. So the thing about the shark is, right, it's done in such a way that when you pull out, you can actually see that it's got a stripe going. So you've got the dark light, dark light. But when you go up close, it's more about the rounded shapes that you have with the sharks. So I'm going to see if I can play around with that uh, pseudo geometrical um, stripe and we'll see how we go. The final thing, I did talk about it in my We're in Bed uh, segment um, the other week. And it is a Liberty Crepe de Chine. So if you haven't seen the Wearing Bed, I'll link it in the description box uh, down below. I'm, I'm having such a blast doing those segments. They are so much fun. Uh, but yeah, this is the Crepe de Chine, which has got a little more substance than a chiffon. But it's got a drape uh, to it. So it's quite poofy, I would say. It's springy. That's it. Does feel oh my God. Guys, I'm going through a blue revival. Blue revival because I'm wearing a blue shirt. And I've got blue, and then this is blue. But yeah, so here we go. It's the William, the famous, the very famous William Morris uh, Strawberry Thief um, thingy, which it just gets done a lot. So you've got the pseudo stripe going um, as well. But this fabric, it makes a sound. Can you hear that? I love the sound. I, I love the sound of that fabric so much. Um, so this is going to become this traced out pattern here from uh, from Berda 11, 2013. So, oh, I just love this. Look at this. 
And you know, there's so much blue going on here. So blue magazine, blue fabric, blue shirt I'm wearing, blue French terry, blue spoil, splodgy viscous jersey. And that is me. I'm feeling blue, <laughs> which is unusual because I normally have a lot of pinks um, going on. So yeah, so that's been my uh, blue fabric hole and sewing plans, which hope hopefully will happen over the next uh, two months or so. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I have such a blast doing these videos and just, you know, checking in and chatting uh, with you guys. I hope that you're taking care of yourselves, that you are well and uh, happy sewing. Take care now. Bye.